in this video um, I'm trying to uh, say, uh, show uh, show you how to disassemble the Sony uh, MD uh, player remote and this one uh, is a model um, MC30EL and currently it, it does not working uh, for example uh, I have uh, one MD player here so it's powered on and if I uh, plug in and there's nothing uh, shows uh, in the remote control so uh, it does not work and uh, of course any of this uh, really does not have any effects so this remote uh, needs to be uh, repaired So to open this uh, remote, you do need a few things. Um, first, uh, a screwdriver. You need one uh, fairly coarse screwdriver, uh, which is 1.5 millimeter. And then uh, you will need also need another one. Mm, it's also the Philip. Uh, screwdriver but this one is 1.2 millimeter is a uh, smaller uh, screw than this one and I think you can probably use one millimeter uh, screwdriver too uh, for this you will also need the uh, tweezers because some of these uh, parts you do need a tweezer to uh, pick it up and then uh, I also have this uh, prying tools because that, uh, a few parts uh, is uh, is uh, is clipper, so uh, you do need the prying parts. And also I have this small uh, screwdrivers also used to pry pry some of the the parts. So now. Um, and now the first is that I'm gonna uh, take this apart, just uh, disassemble it. The first, uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, take out this, uh, this part, the cover, uh, right here, uh, just uh, around the um, uh, the the headphone uh, plug, uh, he headphone port. So uh, you see, this is wire, this LCD. This is um, a volume control, and this is a headphone uh, port. And th it is this part needs to be pop up first, and it is fixed by a clip inside. You just need to uh, pry it up, pry it out. And what I f what I found it's easier to do is that uh, do it this way. So uh, see, here is a LED. And this is a volume plus minus sign. So if you face it this way and use a small, I use a very small a screwdriver and uh, get in and uh, you see, and the face is right, I prior uh, right here, this side, just to do it this, like that. Just uh, be patient and do it slowly so that you don't break uh, anything. So that's what we're gonna do. Just like that. It should come out. There we go. Yep, just like that. Then it uh, pop out. And you can see that uh, uh, that's this is already the the cup here, and uh, this side you can see uh, it it has uh, it has two uh, clipper on this side. So that's what fixed this into it. So I will just put this uh, away, and then the next is that uh, 
I have to use the tweezer because there are two um, metal parts here you have to take it out and you also have to uh, just remember how this is uh, inside because uh, the, you have to leave when you reassemble it it has to be in the correct place so that is a um, that the uh, final cop uh, cover can get in but we can talk about that uh, when we reassemble it right now just get to uh, get this out uh, carefully and uh, don't lose this because this uh, is nowhere to uh, replace it and there are two pieces of it carefully and uh, take this out and I can show you what this is so, and okay so um, here we go that's what I just uh, take out from uh, from it So, so I put this here and here. Now, after that, it's uh, it's easy. So, uh, then uh, this you just pour it off. So that's what we have here. It's just a uh, pour off very uh, easily. So again, I put here, and then uh, now what you can see here is that uh, uh, it has a spring here, and there is an inner ring here. So I will I can take out the inner ring first. There is a little switch. This is for the uh, there is a little uh, switch which is for the warning warning but uh, we don't need to worry about, worry about this right now so and this inner ring can be uh, just uh, just again it's just pull out if you, if you find the right angle it, it will out you may have to push this switch just a little bit yeah then uh, the inner ring should out very should out very easily. Let me see. Yeah. So. I think I, I, I think I will take out the spring first so which is also easy you just push this to uh, uh, inward let me see if that's it uh, and uh, you, you don't you also you just to be very careful so that you don't uh, the spring don't uh, uh, don't fly anywhere all right, get the spring out. All right, so that's uh, this is a this is a small spring uh, here. Just put here, and this ring should be uh, come out. Yep, and this is this is a inner ring uh, with a Sony logo on it. So take that. So now uh, that's what we have for the two screwdrivers for. First is a smaller um, 1.2 millimeter uh, screwdrivers uh, is for the two tiny screws on this side, which is a side uh, we just uh, exposed. 
So there are ver two very tiny school here. That's why I need a 1.2 manometer screwdriver. And you can see it's very tiny. Let's put here. Yep. And then uh, another screw. Okay. So after that, I switch to the 1.5 screwdriver which take out the screws uh, right here just in near the uh, um, cable so this screw is a little bit larger a little bit bigger screws here so three screws out now And uh, this, it's two pieces, and they are fixed by uh, the clippers. And uh, let me warn you that, uh, I mean, for me, every time I take this apart, I always break the the clippers. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there is any other way can uh, can do it without break the clippers, but. That's what happens every time I open it. It's always break broken, and but because it's it is fixed by uh, the screws, so it's okay. But I just let you know uh, that may happen. So uh, that's what you. Get this out. And then uh, get this side. this side out first yeah it's, uh, it's pull up. Yeah. yeah it's out yeah I think I, yeah I broke the clipper again but that's uh it is what it is but uh, all right so uh, now this part out and then just be careful about uh, the bottom part because there are, there are many loose spot uh, pieces there so you don't want to do it another way so you just uh, lift this and that's out so this is the bottom piece and uh, just be very careful you can see here that's one uh, bottom uh, one piece losing piece and of course there are another losing piece and there is uh, the also the the volume pieces also are loose so just be careful don't lose anything here just uh, put that away and uh, i can see that as a clipper return is all broken but that's every time I, I do this it's always broken put here and this is a top cover just like that so so now uh, we have um, the inside and you can see that's LED, that's a board and here this is a part, the wire, which I think we have a problem and you can see there are a lot of wires actually there are 7 wires it's, uh, this side we have 4, this side we have 3 and um, I believe if you look at the plug here, right? So that's one, two, three, four. So I believe that this four connects to the four wires on this side. And the three wires here, that is for the um, uh, for the um, headphone plug. So that's a three wire, right? It's ground, left, and right. So it must be ground, left, or right. And so that that's what it is. So right now, um, it's not powered up. So uh, the first thing, of course, I want to, I would I would do is to test the continuity of all of these wires to uh, to this plug, see which wire has problem. But uh, eventually, I think I will just uh, I have to cut as uh, the wire shorter and then resolder it. And there is also a, a tape on this. Uh,
tape on these uh, these wires so it's there for a reason so when we reassemble it just remember to put it back don't have to be the same tape but you do have to uh, use uh, electric tape and uh, do the same thing so I lift this up and get this tip away and that's what we have here so uh, then I'm gonna run, then I'm gonna t use a multimeter to test the continuity of the, all these wires so the first thing uh, I'm gonna do is to test the continuity of these wires however if all um, test with good continuity then that's mean that means something wrong with the board then that's not something uh, 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 I can fix uh, it's because that's uh, uh, all of those small uh, self uh, mounted components uh, out of my uh, current equipment uh, reach but let's do the test as a continuity first so um, the first that's uh, it's the side of the four wires. Let's check the first one. This one, let's see. It's not that. Okay, that one is good. It's uh, So that one is good. Let's see the next one. The next one, um, there is no, no, no. So the second one is probably bad. Let's see the third one. No. The third one also don't show any continuity here. The fourth one. Hmm. First one also shows the continuity, but also right to the same. So maybe that's not what I was thinking. It's weird. It's not, uh, let's, let's check this again. Okay, the last of the last one is ground. That's my bad. So, so and then uh, maybe all other three does not really. Okay, let's check the the three wires on the, the back. So the first it does not show anything. The second one also not show anything. One. Hmm. The last one is goes to this plug, so that's not what I was thinking. But uh, so right now I checked 
Zara two wires has continuity so it's uh, this one and uh, this one hmm that's, uh, that's interesting hmm so I was wondering because uh, for this if there is something wrong happened it's it will be happened to right here so uh, then uh, you have to uh, cut the wire this and uh, go there so um, I'm gonna continue to test this continuity see what I will see we'll see, see what 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 I can find Okay, so this goes to here. So that one is good. So this is the right channel. Okay. So I think uh, I only found continuity for uh, three uh, wires. So maybe that's the issue. So it's uh, so I guess it's all broken somewhere. So I just checked the continuity from the from the headphone uh, uh, port to the to the wire here clearly um, the the side with the four wires right so the middle one so that's uh, ground for the headphone and the uh, the red one the the one red at the, this side this that's the left and then this uh, we call brown and that's a uh, right and then the green that's just a ground for the plug for the control plug then that means uh, the three wires on the other sides uh, corresponding to uh, uh, to the three uh, here and which uh, I think I also tested one of them has a continuity uh, to one of these pins and uh, I think that's uh, uh, so. The next I think I have to do is that uh, I have to uh, desolder all of these wires and then uh, cut the wire right here, and then I'll resolder. So I'm gonna uh, desoldering uh, the wires, and before I do that, I use tape to group uh, the wires so I know that uh, these three wires goes to this side. And these four wires with another group goes to that side. And I also I, I took the I took a picture with my camera so I know which one goes to which. should be good all right I'm gonna so now I'm gonna desolder this Let's see, uh, the first wire okay first of all wires out Alright, so I get all the wires out, 
I pull this uh, wire return out so that I can uh, cut the rest of it and maybe I think the original uh, part is right here so I, I, my guess is that, is that uh, the break happens somewhere right here so I'm gonna cut it to there and then um, cut all the wires well just as I feared even though I cut uh, more uh, wires this long the screw are uh, not working and the, there is no uh, continuity uh, from uh, this end uh, to this end so that means uh, it's probably something wrong uh, right here and I don't think this uh, this part is mean, uh, meant to uh, to be open so um, and um, anyway I think that's uh, that means this is not probably not repairable but uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to uh, uh, reassemble it at least I can show you how to uh, uh, put everything back now we put it back which is not an easy part uh, easy job either and uh, in my opinion it's uh, it's much harder than uh, it's much challenge uh, then take it out and the uh, so first is that uh, notes that we have uh, three parts <coughs> the main board the top the bottom so the first part is and I'm gonna put in uh, the board into the bottom so that's the first order for the bottom piece First, you make sure this uh, this volume control is inserted here in the correct pre correct pre place. Uh, make sure, uh, see, this insert is into that open. All right, and then you have to make sure that uh, all of the small bottom pieces uh, is in is in it. There are uh, play this is a uh, power and there are three I think that's a model that's a uh, uh, display and another another piece so that's three buttons here and don't forget here is also the um, the hold hold and uh, then the first job is to put this um, bank in there are a few things you need to be careful. So of course the first is that the LED is, is on the top. Then you have to make sure that um, uh, the play, this, uh, the play button, this insert into uh, the corresponding open of this. In the same time, you have to, you have to make sure this uh, switch for the hold also uh, into the corresponding uh, open of the hold uh, switch over there otherwise uh, you just break uh, everything so um, that's why uh, the first thing you have to be careful so let me say play this the hold is in uh, it's not in the hold position so carefully Let's, uh, make sure it's uh, in the correct place now uh, I pull this in I push down so first let me try uh, the play it's, uh, it seems in a good place then I have to try uh, the hold Yep, the hold is also in a good place, so that means the LCD is in a correct place. And um, this part usually is already in place, that's good. Then um, now we go to the power, uh, power cable, the cable returner. Just uh, then, uh, just be careful. The returner here, there is a uh, open 
and this open has to be uh, face down because there is also a, a kind of uh, corresponding um, uh, thing uh, for this open so make sure uh, the open of this uh, wire returner uh, face down so just do it like this way yep just like that so um, again the hold switch the um, play and then uh, the wire uh, return and, and uh, all three, uh, all three uh, parts has to be very careful so make sure it's in the correct uh, place so after you have that then um, you can uh, uh, put on the, the top cover and um, as I said I also break the uh, break the clip but uh, well I always break the clip when I open this there's I don't know if there is any way I can improve that but that's okay because the cover can be uh, returned by the, the screws and uh, so you just put this the clip this is just something I have to care for so now um, all seems good and uh, seems good and uh, seems good then I'm gonna just put um, put one screw in first this is a larger screw uh, which is 1.5 millimeter is at this side close to the wire just not so tightened just tightened a little bit then uh, I'm gonna try uh, carefully try this spot and see as this if the work again yep yeah you can feel it this is a hold it's good it's good it's good see this yeah that's good so I think all good then uh, then the next that's a two uh, tiny uh, screw which is 1.2 or 1 millimeter it's uh, right here first Just And the next one. Okay. Let me see. Okay, that's uh, that's good. So that's two uh, tiny school, and you may notice that that's a. Uh, uh, this is a volume uh, control, it's loose, but that's okay, that's what I'm supposed to do right now. And then uh, I'm gonna put this uh, this piece, and uh, that is this uh, Sony logo, uh, small piece. So um, make sure the Sony logo is facing the uh, LED. So we just uh, put this ring, um, push in, and of course here is just a, if you just push this just a little bit, and gradually you will be able to move this in. All right, so um, so this uh, the Sony logo is in. Just press it. It will be like that. So the next job is 
the spring. So the spring, um, you may notice that um, there are two uh, metal uh, sort of uh, insert here, or a metal thing, uh, the metal, I mean. This should be, uh, uh, if you look at this, right? So there is, uh, there is, uh, there is an open here. So there is another open here. So that's where the two are uh, supposed to go here and here. So that means it, it needs to be uh, this way. So uh, you put this right here. You can put, uh, you can fit one first. And then uh, it's just spring. It's uh, it fit another. So that's um, that's how this looks like. And again, uh, this goes to right here, and this goes to uh, uh, right here. All right. So uh, all of those are easy. Then uh, we need to put this uh, volume, volume ring back and um, look at this. Uh, if you look at inside, right? This part, uh, this um, side, you have uh, the two uh, plastic pieces here. And this side, there are one open, two open, then there are spruce trees, uh, there are third small open here. So this part is uh, inward, and this part is outward. And or another, in other words, look at and there's a. If you look at the shape, right? There is some uh, dots here. So this face inward, and this kind of smooth part face outward. And um, here, this is. Um, it says volume plus and minus, so this side is up, is facing the LED. So you just put this in, slide in right here, like that. Then what you need is that, uh, um, remember, there is a small open uh, right here, so right here, so that's where this goes. Just need to uh, Make sure this goes to the Yeah, yeah, this time's good. Now when that feels good, then uh, there is no um, open here, then everything's good. And right now you can even try the the volume control. You can see uh turn you turn, go back. You turn, go back. So so then that means it's good. Okay, so that's all the easy part. Now, in my opinion, now here is this uh, the most challenging part is to put the two small metal pieces inside that because that, uh, it's small, and because believe me, uh, this thing uh, if you don't be care if you don't careful. And this thing will fly uh, around everywhere, and if you lose it, you won't be able to replace it. So this is most the challenging part, challenge part, and you have to be very careful. So um, just uh, I will just put this in here like that, and uh, and as the thing, uh, there are two opens here, so uh, you just need to. Uh, Twist this a little bit, just like that, so that the two uh, so that the this and this that goes to a small open uh, right here, and that's the part it locks uh, this. And, um, 
see uh do it very slowly it to shoot in then just like that then uh right now i would also try uh see if this works yeah that's losing oh whoa it's it's loose but that's okay it's uh because when this is in the volume control should still work so again uh put this back in but just be very careful um, just like that and uh, make it flat and just uh, slowly to push this into the open yeah that's it so uh you see i do it quickly fast but that's because i'm used to do it if you do it the first time so be extremely careful. Just don't lose it. Don't don't break it. Now uh, it's the last part. And uh, make sure uh, if you look at this, make sure there is a enough open here and enough open here. So you may want to adjust this just a little bit. And let's see. We have to make sure uh, there is enough open here, enough open here, because that's where the the two clippers goes. So then uh, the two clipper here goes there. It's just a. Uh, what you need to do is to push this in, and uh, of course again this needs some. Uh, you need some patience. Okay, now it's in. So now uh, everything has been uh, put back. Yep, I can uh, check the volume control is good. If you turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, and this is a um, uh, play. Everything's good. And the power three button. Feel it. Hold. Everything's good. So that's how you uh pull this back.